channel so in this video we are going to be performing pan sharpening and i will just import the two um two images so one image will be a high resolution panchromatic band and then the other one will be a low resolution multispectral image so our high resolution panchromatic band will be um the band we'll be using the band 8 which is the panchromatic band and then um, for the low resolution multispectral imagery we'll just be using the whole of the lens at 8 image so as you can see we are going to just import the data so let's select band 8 and select ok so um uh, pan sharpening is just simply the process of merging that high resolution panchromatic and the low resolution multispectral imagery to create a single high resolution color image and it's quite a long process that uses algorithms uh, one of the algorithms it uses is a component substitution algorithm and this algorithm it substitutes the panchromatic band for an intensity component uh, this is a lot of um, theoretical knowledge so you'll have to go and research on that but we can carry on with the other process yeah so let's repeat that again now for the image let us now import the image that you had layered stacked so lancet 8 so first let's import the band that's band 8 then now let's import the image so let's go and just import it so it's supposed to be in the same area yeah so now we are going to be selecting um hpf and hpf means um high pass filter so there is high pass filter and then there is low pass filter so go to pan sharpening and select high pass filter sorry So um, the high pass filter HPF is usually used to sharpen the appearance of an image by fine tuning the details. While the low pass filter is usually used to smoothen the image by reducing the smaller details in an image. So it's like it's generalizing an image. So different occasions call for different pass filters. In our case, we are trying to um fine tune the details of the image so we'll be using the high pass filter can just um, type in the output name then select ok okay let me move it to the center and then also we'll select for that we'll select um, um i think that's it you can just click ok so okay yeah so usually in the case of a low pass filter the um output is might end up even appearing um worse than the actual image but it all depends on the purpose you are you are trying to work on for the image so we'll just finish that up then okay so, um, quite some process but it's um, about to finish so once it's done we'll just add the another view so that you can compare and then open that image so let's open that up and then we can now fit the layer to window up to the view and there you have it so as you can see the difference between the two images um, the image on the right is after pan sharpening that is now where i've merged the two the panchromatic the high resolution um panchromatic and the low resolution multispectral image so um leave a comment in the comment section and tell me which one you think um or what you think of the pan sharpening and what it does so that's it 
If you love these tutorials, please don't forget to subscribe and like. Goodbye.